amplifier all of us know there is a sense amplifier in the memory but why is there a sense amplifier to so sense to fast so to uh, improve my read time basically because yeah. otherwise okay, i have to discharge yeah if there was no sense amplifier then i will have to discharge the bit lines to full zero or at least vdd by 2 to, to read a zero huh but a sense amplifier with a sense amplifier i can precharge the bit line uh, discharge the bit line only by 100 milli volts hmm? and still be able to read correctly because that 100 milli volt is amplified by the sense amplifier to a full vdd swing are you able to see this any questions are you able to understand this example that is given here yes sir that when you discharge less the delay is less if you discharge more the delay would be more and by using a sense amplifier you are making your circuit faster when you discharge less because in the sense amplifier you need to discharge less only what else would reduce so we said performance would uh, the we said the delay would reduce what else would reduce so power consumption the power power consumption of the bit lines would also reduce hmm yes sir so sense amplifier is a high speed and a low power uh, solution to uh, to speed and power trade off what goes for a toss is the what goes for the toss is which figure of so, merit so area area yeah. in terms of ppa performance and power are both improving at the cost of area why because there are so many transistors in a sense amplifier hmm so let's have a quick look at how a sense amplifier operates so this over here is a bit cell on the top okay the word line would come so this is a word line it would come when it needs to come but before that the bit lines would be precharged to vdd or whatever level you want to precharge them to theek okay? hai there is the sense amplifier for which san is equal to 0 if san is equal to 0 there are two pmoses which are on and these two pmoses essentially connect the bit line to the sense amplifier internal nodes when san is zero my bit lines are connected to the sn amplifier internal nodes whatever differential appears on the bit lines also appears on the internal nodes of the sn amplifier when that differential is sufficient i would take san to 1 as soon as san goes to 1 these pmoses also get disconnected and now this system operates as a latch it quickly latches the output a small differential on the bitline bitline bar is therefore amplified into a full vdd swing uh, so can you just uh, repeat uh, after just switched from sense amplifier signal from 0 to like 1 what exactly you tell me what happens as soon as i switch the the san to 1 let's look at this san so my internal nodes were discharging at a particular rate i took san sense enable to 1 so what would happen now till now this voltage could be vdd min vdd minus vt as soon as this goes to 1 so this latch was not operational this latch was only operating between vdd and vdd minus vt as soon as this goes to 1 this becomes a full latch all the charge over here will get discharged and this what do you say this uh, sense amplifier will be able to read a correct zero or one on the saf and sat nodes hmm? 
So, SAF would also come down a little, but it will go back up. Finally, the difference between SAT and SAF would be something like this. Full VDD swing. Is that okay? Any questions? So how do we know uh, when to make this sense enable one? Like, is it a particular time or something? Yeah. So like we talked about, you remember we talked about replica path, reference path? Ah, yes, sir. That is how. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, so uh, that is not being written over here. That we have to carefully tune the reaction time and switch off the SNS amplifier to enable start of new cycle. Yeah, there was a question. Sorry. Sir, uh, uh, here we have SAF and SAT to one previously that we got uh, because we made a read operation uh, previously and those are the values that we got from the read operation, right? So this and is like the read operation line. happening. SNS amplifier operation is a part of read operation. Question Hana? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir, but uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, my doubt is that when should this uh, sensor amplifier be triggered? It should be, according to me, it should be triggered after the read operation, right? After so, the read uh, operation. What do you mean by after the read operation? So, uh, I mean, uh, my current should. Does, uh, when go, does the read operation end? Sir, after, uh, I mean, like BLTI node, uh, sorry. Uh, after after I run my cell current through the BLTI node, so that I can I can I have a current so that I can discharge my bit line or bit line bar whatever, where my so zero is that you have done that you have done bit line and bit line bar over here have discharged to one is at uh, uh, VDD other is at VDD minus hundred millivolts. Now, so uh, yes sir. After that, I mean like th that was my doubt sir. If I if I enable my sense am sense amplifier enable. So I do understand the, uh, there is a PMOS and I'll, I'll be able to uh, write, run my values into the uh, central node. I mean like V out and V out bar in this case. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, after that, does that happen in parallel or uh, I mean like I, I see like it's coming from bit line and bit line bar and it's directly dump, getting dumped into the ground. So look because at it over here. When SAN is equal to zero, is there a ground path? No, sir. No, sir. So it is not the directly getting dumped into ground. Hmm. Now we say SAN goes to one. SAN hmm. goes to one means these pass gates have gone off. Bit lines are no longer connected to the sense amplifier now. Okay. Hey, no? That is where it is written important to decouple bit lines from the sense amplifier. Yes, sir. Got it. Yeah. Hmm? You're able to see the functionality of the sense amplifier here. Any questions? Sir, sir, for example, during the read, uh, when my this uh, sense enable signal is off, the PMOS are on. So the differential, for example, this BLB underscore mux is dis is sort of discharging and uh, other one is head LBDD. So, sir, hmm. the SAF point will and the SAT point, the SAT point will be basically charged to one and this is point will be little less, matlab, not as VDD. So after we turn off this, both the PMOSs, because the SAT is higher point, so it will quickly uh, make that N more strong at the SF point and it will discharge at zero. That is what is happening. And yeah, then... actually, you, you, you're reading it wrongly. In fact, SAT is discharging more. If you look at it, SAT is discharging more. SAF is discharging like this. SAT is discharging like this. So when the when this NMOS goes to one and the PMOSs get disconnected, what happens? All of a sudden, both sides start to sink current. Huh? Because this side had a higher level on the SAF node, the gate of this pull down is at a higher level than the gate of this pull down. Are you able to see this? 
so originally my basically so my bl underscore max line was basically discharging the sort of that at that point it was zero was stored so that was discharging so that why sct is discharging more yes okay this is just i'm just taking one example you could take an example okay. where the other side discharges more what's the difference there okay what's the difference there's no difference yes it is important to realize is whichever side was discharging more that will continue to discharge faster because of the gate voltage also now yes sir. as soon as the my pm was on the the they were they did there was more discharge that will discharge more and uh, other side would kind some kind of restore to one kind of okay yeah yeah okay so as we said this one discharges to full zero the other side other side goes to one because of the latching operation yes sir yes sir i have a question yes yeah sir uh, does this mean that the internal loads sif and sct should be precharged as well yes okay See? and and uh and all... you remember yes. there is a precharge circuit over here ah uh, yes okay okay sir hmm? Mm -hmm. okay and also should we make uh when it comes to sizing of uh, this sense amplifier should we have uh, the size of this sense enable signal and mos very mm -hmm. high so that it facilitates uh, faster discharge why well, okay so let us say this is one micron so what do you mean by very high for this that it should be at least greater than 1 micron okay so, so you're saying it should be let us say 1.2 microns yes sir okay तो अब इससे क्या बेनिफिट होगा फास्टर डिस्चार्ज द सेल करंट वुड बी हाई द सेल करंट वुड बी हाई सो द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हेन दिस सेंस एम्पलीफायर गोस ऑन वी आर नॉट कनेक्टेड टू द मेमोरी सेल एट ऑल यस सर दे हैव गॉन ऑफ वी आर ओनली टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेंस एम्पलीफायर यस सर आई मेंट द सेल सेल करंट मींस द द डिस्चार्ज करंट व्हिच आई मेंट इन द सेंस एम्पलीफायर so discharge current is being generated in a sense amplifier what do you mean by that i i meant uh, the discharge uh, the discharge path from uh, sat to ground so the current will be there. latching operation yes it's no longer discharge it is latching operation now what does it so, exactly mean sir yeah latching means that one side will go to zero the other side will go to one yes hai na so if you keep this transistor to be bigger you are saying that more current will flow yes so okay keep it a little bigger no problems but okay. there is no point to take it so big that it goes to 2 microns because at any point of time only one of the saf or sat will go to zero both cannot go to zero simultaneously yes sir will not hai na it's yes. a latch finally so you keep it a little bigger than the Uh, then the pass gates over here or or the matched devices over here that is fine okay and also okay. sir when it comes to the sizing of uh, the transistors in this sense amplifier so will we follow the same uh, aspect ratio as we maintain in the memory cell or it will be Which aspect ratio huh sorry the, the size of uh, the size of pull down the pass gate yeah, why what is happening here are we reading are we uh, thinking some like are we reading through the sense amplifier is there some data stored inside the sense amplifier that we are trying to read what is happening no sir we are not storing any data is there a, is there a stability condition around the sense amplifier no sir then okay see the structure looks very similar to a 60s ram cell but don't get confused it's still a sense amplifier it has a completely different functionality to design it you need to consider the functionality that is required of it in in, in your analysis not the how it is appearing to look or how it is appearing yes okay yes, so sir yes sir uh, just uh, i just wanted to confirm my understanding sir could you please go back to the previous slide sir tell me so sir uh, the precharge circuit which you are using sir uh, were you using it to maintain the saf and sat at zero oh you tell me sir it should be zero sir according to me why 
sir because if bitline and bitline bar i just want i'm like this they'll be at some voltage and i want them to write on this uh, internal nodes then if that's one then i can't i can't write them directly uh, in fact if if i on my sense amplifier enable my uh, the intermediate nodes which i have that would be uh, reverse driving into my bl and bitline bit bar right because right. if they are very nice in the read operation bitline let us say is at vdd and bitline bar is at vdd minus 100 millivolts yes sir you are saying uh, you want to precharge these to zero yes so what is happening there is this pmos which is permanently on yes san has not arrived yet so the pmos is on can there be a connection between vdd and zero like this no sir uh, okay uh, understood sir so even if there is a vdd over there sir wh what i understood is that okay sir since sense amplifier will be uh, uh, i think it should be working on a higher voltage than uh, and then the normal memory voltage uh, which no. you are working no 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 it is same voltage okay so sir just explain this condition with vdd also sir once because if i if i take vdd uh, then even then i'm like i'll be i'll be writing back into my vdd minus 100 millivolt right and like even i am not supposed to connect those both nodes directly because there are there are different potentials actually vdd so and what is happening and there is a pmos here one side there is vdd other side there is vdd minus 100 millivolts the pmos is on so what would happen sir i think that's a little get discharged this vdd will also get discharged yahi hoga na that is what you wanted nahi you want to translate the differential on the bit lines onto the internal nodes is it that is it not yes 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 so you want to discharge the internal node na what's the problem there that is your desired functionality yes so uh, i mean uh, where is the connection getting completed sir actually i mean the okay i am vdd and vdd minus 100 millivolts okay that's fine but uh there should be a closed circuit when i when i operate right to for for, yeah, for so the word line is on no word line is on the memory cell is sinking that current the vdd minus 100 kahan se aaya tha memory cell se hi aaya tha na okay okay sir so basically i'm translating the discharge on the bit line to this kind of internal node it is yeah. yes Okay, okay sir. Sir, sir, got it, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sir, can you also please? Uh, what what was 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 in the the slide? There was reaction time mentioned. So what was that? Reaction time is when I turn the SAN on. After that, after how long will the outputs be sat and be and and as That is रिएक्शन टाइम Okay. So, How so, quickly you can resolve? So so and that that's... tuning, so so that tuning will be depending upon my sizes of these transistors, right? Yes. So, okay. So tuning by me, you mean to say the how I how should I size these transistors? Okay. Yes. Okay. Sir. Okay. So now one of the two has discharged. Sat has discharged. Sat bar has discharged. You want to now reset the sense amplifier. the read operation has completed you want to reset the sense amplifier for that you will typically see that uh, there would be this kind of a latch put there there is a output latch which latches whatever you wanted to write hmm? and then what happens now you can uh, re wapas precharge your sense amplifier to make it ready for the next read Is that okay? Oh, uh, so I didn't get it. So I mean, so there is the sense amplifier. It has these two outputs. So bit lines go in, and these two outputs go out, come out. To to start the next cycle, bit lines. and also sat and saf node have to be precharged to vdd 
Yes, sir. Hai na? Yes, sir. Now, there is an output latch down there, output buffer down there. Yes, 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 sir. If my SAT and SAF both are pre-charged to be ready, what will the output buffer do? How will it uh, give an output there? It cannot, na? I cannot connect SAT or SAF because what happens is, SAF, suppose SAT went down. SAF, where SAF remained at VDD. I cannot really connect SAT directly to my output buffer. Why? Because to start the next cycle, I have to take it up. It means my output will only get a glitch, nothing else. Okay. Yes. Are you able to see this? There is this analog circuit where the output went to zero. Now, to start the new cycle, you want to take it up. You want to pre-charge it again. That is when the next cycle can start. But my output bus has to be driven to a desired Q value for much longer time. So what do you need to do? You need to put a latch in between. Somewhere. And this is the kind of latch that is put. Where even if bit and bit bar both go to one, the latch will regenerate its contents. It's like an SR latch. Uh, so, in the sense amplifier, the SAF and the SAT nodes that were basically I was taking to this, uh, I was taking this output, sir, because it was not evident to me, sir, from that example. So what is the output then? Okay. What got amplified from, Z from VDD and VDD to zero and VDD? So, the SAF and the SAT nodes. So, that is the output, no? Yes. And so, these two nodes are you taking to the latch? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that was one set of sense amplifiers. There are other sense amplifiers also, and you can actually spend some time to understand their functionality. Over here, what we have done is we have, instead of the PMOSs, you remember there were PMOSs there? Instead of the PMOSs, we have yes, put sir. capacitors. What do you think is the benefit of capacitors? instead of the PMOS is there. Sir, uh, I feel uh, there is a, I'm like more than benefit, there is a loss actually, because there is a delay yes, in writing the BLB towards the internal load. There is a? Delay in writing the BLB or BL, bitline or bitline bar towards the internal node actually. Why is there so, a delay? Okay. So capacitor. Man, what is the benefit? Why would one consider putting a capacitor instead of uh, the, the pass gate? So like capacitor generally resists change in voltage, right? This voltage change. So, but I want to translate that. So wouldn't it be like kind of a counterintuitive, not bad? Because I want to translate that change to the is internal this, is this a coupling capacitor or is this some loading capacitor? Coupling, I think, sir. Coupling capacitor. So what does a coupling capacitor do? Couple the voltage from one side to the other. It will couple the voltage on the bit lines into the internal nodes. Okay, yes, sir. Sir, I think DC stabilization may, might be the case because we are isolating the DC voltage between the top and the bottom thing. So might be yeah. the case. So see, the memory array, you may want to operate at one volt. Because below one volt, the memory cell will not function. Hmm? But sense amplifier, you, may, you can operate at 0.6 volts also. Because it's a circuit which can function at 0.6 volts also. The latch can function. In the previous design that we looked at, 
bit line and sas sat and sap nodes were connected with each other during the reset mode huh what that also meant was that they had to be at the same voltage you could not operate the sense amplifier at a voltage different than the memory array are you able to see this yes sir by decoupling them now you say oh even if your memory array needs to go to 1.0 volts my sense amplifier can operate at 0.6 volts also so let us do dvfs only this vdd will go low that other vdd will not go low so you say power another way to achieve a similar independence of voltage of sense amplifier and bit lines is this one where the bit lines go to the gate of a device they are never connected to the output nodes over here okay and you will see both the sense amplifiers are used any questions till here so how i am decoupling them so i mean so initially the sn sir uh, we were through the the discharge kind of the decoupling the and this one sir yes yeah so in the reset mode what is the status of blb and saf so both are like precharged matlab yes recharge and connected because sense enable is zero so they are connected in a right. way oh yes sir yes yes sir. now by putting a capacitor instead can they ever be connected electrically no sir hmm. they can be at different voltages then hmm. yes sir hmm? hmm thank you sir anything else uh mm hmm ranjit your hand is raised uh sir why is this uh, uh output lines uh, precharged in the second case in the second case yes we have p4 and p3 mosfets mm hmm because uh, you want this latch to be operational na so it's just like uh, uh, you're saying that this latch will start from vdd at all times the latch will need to be precharged but that vdd this this vdd p can be different from the vdd array over here so this could be vdd p again the voltage of the sense amplifier can be different from the voltage of the array of the bit lines okay okay so again for this also you can uh, see a paper in my google scholar page you will see there is a paper on gate coupled sense amplifier there is a patent also around it so you can study that in, and and get a better view okay another thing that you should notice is that there is because now because now i am not worried about what the voltage of this v out and v out bar is i can actually equalize it to a q point to its q point so you see there are no two p mosfets over here i just have an equalizer a q point equalized uh, sram was found to be faster than the precharged sram uh p charge sense amplifier there okay so uh the last slide on sense amplifiers uh in a sense in a sram we have discussed that there could be say one sense amplifier per mux 4 or mux 8 huh in a dram it is not possible in a dram you have to put a sense amplifier for every column so if you have to put a mux it has to be below the sense amplifier 
ओके वाई कांट वी यूज वाई कांट वी यूज मल्टीप्लेक्सर बिफोर द सेंस एम्पलीफायर एंड डी राम Sir, in that case, we'll have uh, uh, for four columns, we'll have a single X column. In that case, we use that way. In that case, you would have. So uh, we'll have uh, a single uh, sense amplifier for four columns, which violates this statement. Hmm. So, uh, sir, you're talking about the DRAM, sir. DRAM. So, sir, like DRAM only. Uh, we have like capacitor. So, I mean. uh because uh, earlier when i was putting like sense amplifier after the uh, multiplexer i was uh, there was a performance degradation so so but because uh, now we have the charge thing so i think that because they're discharging i'm sort of it becomes more kind of in uh, logical to place above that because that loss of charge and i have getting more rc maybe I'm, so i so think about it think about it let me give you a hint in dram when you read it is always a destructive read so we will discuss drams in a little you know after a few lectures don't worry we will i will anyway give you the answer to it i'm just picking your curiosity as of now okay okay that in a dram you have to put a sense amplifier on every column for an sram you can save area by putting it after the multiplexer okay yes okay sir yes sir uh, we generally say dram is uh, much dense right sir it is are sense amplifiers we are using so how does that become dense actually is it the density of a memory because of the periphery or because of the memory cell sir matlab uh, if if we if we buy dram we'll get it with the sense amplifier right memory akela thodi dega wo matlab ha to puri memory ke andar How much area is of the periphery and how much area is of the memory array? हाँ, वो तो ठीक है सर मतलब ओके memory का तो कम है सर इसमें वो है but in total PC the size size is being large right sense amplifier size sorry of the periphery okay. yes so let us look at it like this let us say for an for an SRAM the area of the array is nine area of the periphery is one total area is ten. Okay. For a DRAM, that nine would shrink to, let us say, three, two. Okay. okay. Periphery you made from one to three also. Let us say, आपने periphery three times भी बड़ी कर दी. What happened? Total area is now five. Okay, sir. Comparatively. Half the area, na? Yes. I'm okay. just giving you some random gross cartoon in cartoon types numbers. that is not the reality even in a dram array is much much more area than the periphery but just i am exaggerating the situation for you okay okay sir. there are two different components for area periphery area is larger okay understood but what about the array area array is so dense that overall dram is denser okay so we'll close here and we will do write driver and uh, closure of the io circuits in the next class